Hey friends, are you unsure of what to say on social media or what to even send in your weekly emails? Well, what if creating content could be easy? Would you be looking for a shortcut to creating consistent content? Yes, consistent content, because you know consistency is key. Well, let me tell you, you are not alone when you feel like you're struggling on what to post or what to write in emails. And we know that you have that product part of your business down. But as you're listening to this podcast, you probably already know that to get more people to your products, to buy your products, you need to create great content. Oh, I know, I see. I keep saying content, and that's the dreaded C word. And we can't tell you how many product bosses tell us that they want to create great content for their audience and their customers, but they don't know what to say, or they are so busy, they can't find the time, or they really, really, really don't want to be the face of their brand. Well, no worries, because that's exactly why we created a year of content. It is your shortcut to creating consistent content that resonates with your audience and brings more loyal customers who can't wait to buy your products. If you want to see how easy this is and how easy it is to create content for your audience and your customers, head to www.ayearofcontent.com. Welcome to the Product Boss Podcast, where we help product-based businesses grow their sales and improve their strategies. Hey, everyone. I want to introduce you to my co-host and biz bestie, Mina Kunlo Sitap, an Amazon guru that has built a multi six figure product based business. In introducing the other half of the product boss, Jacqueline Snyder, she has helped launch and grow over 500 fashion apparel and accessory brands, even one of her own. And together, we share our inventory of secret weapons that will help you dig deep and do the work it takes. Are you ready? Let's build together. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Product Boss Podcast. I'm your host, Jacqueline Snyder, with my awesome co-host who loves to break things down simply, (laughs) Mina Kunlo-Sita. Hey, Mina. Hey, Jacqueline. That is me. I feel like in a nutshell. (laughs) <laughs> That's why I love you so much. I think it's why we make such a good team and the way that you train, that you can break big ideas down. I think that's like your superpower into really simple, easy steps. And so we're really excited today to bring you this podcast because so many of you in our community, when we go live in our live workshops, our free challenges, our students, our friends on Instagram, tell us that they have a goal of hitting a hundred thousand dollars in revenue mm-hmm. a year. Okay. That's it's total like the revenue. magic number. Mm -hmm. Six figures is the goal. Hands up in the back if six figures is your goal. Now, in the middle, all of it. (laughs) Everyone. Now, listen, if it's not your goal, if it's less than that, that's okay. Stick with us. Stay here for the episode. And if it's more than that, yes, we want that for you. Yeah. And stick with us too, because what you'll see is this is our, this is the simplest and easiest way that we see that you can scale to that hundred K, but it just keeps snowballing. If you keep doing what we're going to teach you today in this episode, if you want to go from 100K to 200K, 200 to 500, 500 to 800,000, a million to 2 million, you're going to come back to these simple and easy steps often to because you just do. It's it's cyclical in business. And so this is going to be really helpful. So while we're going to help you get to that 100K, my friends that are wanting less and those that want more, stay with us. We're here. We're, we're here for all of it. Yes. And happy workshop day because we started (laughs) workshops today. Today is the take your to-do list to done workshop. It is over at the product. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Theproductboss.com slash best because we are, this is an entire series on your best year yet. And we kicked it off today with that workshop. And next week is going to be about scaling. And the week after that is going to be about focus. So we are going to be really making this your best year yet together. So super pumped about that. Yeah. And then coming at you on Valentine's Day, we're going to hang out together, my friends, on Valentine's Day during the day. You can do your thing at night. We Mm -hmm. are start, we are kicking off the bestseller secrets challenge. It's our, one of our most popular challenges that we've done. It's totally free. It's five days and we're going to help you discover your bestsellers and how you can stop you know, throwing spaghetti at the wall and doing all the things and really be able to lean into what's working and scale your business. And we're going to talk about a little bit about what we'll teach you in the future, in these future dates um, today, because it'll really kind of come together to watch how you can grow. Yep. So Mina, a lot of the things that we hear from product bosses in our community 
right? Is that they are, they have a lot of fears. So they have a lot of fears that they don't know much about business. Maybe they're crafty or creative, but they're not confident in the business and marketing side of it all. And there's a lot of low confidence. I think a lot of people think that they don't have, they don't know enough. They don't have the right education. They're really afraid of the unknown. Cause we've asked people like, if, are you fearful of success? And they are, because even this idea of thinking, how do I get my business to a hundred thousand dollars in revenue a year feels scary. They don't know how they're going to get there or how they're being able to keep up. I think it feels overwhelming. So they feel overwhelmed by the things that they think that they need to do. They're uncertain about what they do need to do. And this is really how this episode came to be birthed by two moms over here, right? Your coach, (laughs) your product coaches, is that when you start to feel overwhelmed, you need to break it down very simply then you can move forward. Because if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's hard to move forward because it's just overwhelming, right? So Mm -hmm. break it down, get really, really simple with it. Get simple with it. I feel like that should be a song or something. Getting simple with it. (laughs) (laughs) Cue the music. And so get simple with it because even if you go down to like a really, really simple, like when I get overwhelmed and I feel like I'm so overwhelmed, I'm going to cry or I'm going to shut down. I go for a walk, right? It's something so simple that you just move your body, for example, right? So these are simple ways, very foundational that we found in the over 50,000 students that we've worked with that we can break it down. And for the most part, it will capture what they've done to get to 100,000. Now, does it work for everybody? I mean, some in a looser way, it certainly does. But you have to take the actions and pivot along the way. Clearly, you have to put in the work. But this is just a simple, broken down way of looking at it. We're so Mm -hmm. glad that you're here with us because like Jacqueline said, you'll be able to refer back to this later on as well. Yeah. And so again, no matter where you are are at in business, we've heard this all over all different revenue levels. Okay. And all different people with different responsibilities in their life, right? Some of you are parents. Some of you have special needs children. Some of you are caring for your, your family members. Some of you have full-time jobs or multiple jobs. Some of you are carrying the weight of the whole family. Some of you are, you know, single and trying to live your best life out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of you have pets and are pet parents. Yeah. There are so many things that you're all, you're all doing, right? But what I find that you find is a misconception is that when we teach you certain things, I'm, let me know if this resonates with you is it'll never work for me. You're not good enough at business. Your business isn't good enough. Your product isn't worthy or right, right? A lot of times too, you feel like you can't keep up. So when we say have a $50,000 goal, a hundred thousand dollar goal, a $500,000 goal, a million dollar goal, Right. It's like, I I don't know that I want that because I feel like I'm going to be working all the time and I won't be able to spend time on the things that I value, my priorities. I want to be successful, but I'm going to burn out. I don't know how I'm going to deliver it, right? Um, You've got, you've given great ideas, but I don't know if my product is good enough. I could never be a big business. I don't know all the things, right? You're not, by the way, supposed to know everything. That's why you're listening to a business podcast right now. So these are a lot of the things that we hear from all of you and what we want you to realize is that you can have a successful business without running out of time. You can have a successful business. You can work a full-time job and have this as a side hustle and not burn out. You can dictate how you have your own day, your hours of who you're going to spend those with, right? For a baby, child, yourself, long bubble bath at night, whatever it is. So you do have the choice of how you want to create the life and lifestyle you want. And your business is that vehicle of getting you there. We just need to get you aligned and we need to break this down simply. Yeah. And here's another truth. You know what you know, and you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. Literally, right? You know what you know. And a lot of times we get stuck there because it's like, I don't know that. Well, seek out the people that know the other things that you don't know, because there's other things that they don't know as well. Same with us. We don't know everything, but we certainly have experiences and resources and tools and in, in our arena, right? We know how to grow product-based businesses. So you're here, you're in the right place, and you will get to know what you need to know to get to 100,000. So we're going to break this down simply. Now, there is a lot more. There's a lot more. And if you listen to our podcast, you listen to last week's podcast, you come to these workshops, you join us in our free challenge, all the links are in the show notes. You 
get on the wait list and you join multi-stream machine when the doors open on February 17th, right? You sign up and you join our signature course, which is going to help you in your business. We've seen this happen for so many February people. February 7th. What'd you say was February 17th? February 17th. What's February 17th? When MSM opens. Oh yeah. Okay. Just making sure. I thought you had said the cool <laughs> challenge. There's a lot of dates in our head. <laughs> so Valentine's Day is when the challenge starts. Mm-hmm. Multi-stream machine is February 17th. I confirm that that was indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> we get DMs every day. When's multi-stream machine opening again? When's yes, it opening again? So February 17th, this is, this is the time that it is opening in this part of the year. And the next time will be towards the end of the year. Do not miss out on this. Okay. But here's yeah. what we want to talk about. We want to talk about the five simple things you can do in your business to start to get your business to grow, right? To hit that 100K. So the first milestone, and we are going to help you with this in the Bestseller Secrets Challenge, so stay with us. But the first one is we want you to look at your products, your product lineup, and to see what is working best. Can you identify your best sellers? Yeah, 100%, right? Because sometimes people look at their breakdown of their, their products and they're like, oh, this is making me, 90% of my money on this platform or whatever it is, or this product. And this is making me 10. I got to raise that 10 up. No, no, my friend, you need to lean into the 90, right? So I think that you just have to think of it as go with what works. If Justin Timberlake is looking good in the front man place, because there might be some young people here that forget. Yeah, (laughs) I know. I didn't think about that. That's true. I don't know if everybody <laughs> knows that he was part of NSYNC, but he was. He was the front man, right? And so Beyonce it's, was the front woman of Destiny's Child. Just, yes, indeed. And we'll get I into mean, this in Bestseller Secret <laughs> Challenge because you guys all know that we love to, we love our analogies and we love to have fun around here. But it's true, right? You lean into what's working and what people are gravitating towards and what stands out in your product lineup. Yeah. And so, so we, we tell you to know your numbers, right? We want you to be the boss of your business. And part of that is actually looking at what's working best. So some of you, and we get this question all the time, especially when we're live in the challenge is like, well, how do I identify that? Well, it could be a very specific thing. Could be this one particular, I don't know, black dress sells all the time, this one dress, or it could be black dresses sell, Mm -hmm. right? Or dresses of a particular style. But if you want to know more about how to find your bestseller, you should go through the challenge, bestseller yeah. secrets challenge. Right. Because, um, and the reason mm-hmm. it's been so successful is people feel like if they make more things, if I just mm-hmm. make more things, I can catch other customers. So you feel like if you cast this wider net, you will catch more fish, right? Bigger the net, the more fish. But the thing is, is are they the right customers for you? Do they even want what you have to sell? So, but if you can really identify what people are buying from you and you can really, and you can do that, then you're not sitting around making pants and shirts and necklaces and earrings and whatever. Cause if they want dresses, they want dresses. Let's lean into dresses. And that's the majority of your business. So that's easy. Step number one, look at your product lineup and see what's working best and discover your best sellers. Yes. Two, Mina. Two is plugging the holes in your systems, getting priced correctly which is product refinement and understanding what good financials look like in your type of business. So I'm going to say that again in a kind of a shortcutted way. Get your back end in order. <laughs> so your systems, your pricing, all of it, you need to kind of get it in order. So that way your operations, your fulfillment, all of that, you're not wasting unnecessary time. You're not selling because your margins aren't right you're not basically wasting time and money, right? You Mm -hmm. need to plug those holes before you can really scale. I'm just going to jump in really quick to interrupt this episode because I have to ask you a question. Can you believe we're already full steam ahead into another year? I know it's unbelievable. And we know you have big goals for your product business this year, and we're here to help you reach them. In all of our years helping product bosses, we find that one of the biggest things that they struggle with is setting their businesses up to truly scale and thrive. They don't know how to organize their time or handle the influx of orders when they do scale or how to even stand out in a crowded market. So question for you, product boss, do you ever feel like you're juggling so much in your product business without knowing where to focus or how to reach your goals? 
We feel you. It's no secret being a product boss isn't easy, but there are things that you can be doing right now to help your business thrive this year. And we're here to help you do that. We are hosting a free series that includes three info-packed workshops to help you kick off your best year yet. So if you're feeling like you don't have enough hours in the day, or you don't even know what you should be focusing on to grow, or like your business can't even handle the influx of orders you want because you're making everything yourself, or like you don't know how to stand out in a crowded market, well, we've got you covered. That's why we created our upcoming free workshop series the product boss's guide to your best year yet. We're hosting three free workshops where we're sharing some of our biggest tips and tricks on how to have your breakthrough year in 2022. And the first workshop kicks off on January 20th. If you want to join us for free, just head to theproductboss.com slash best to save your spot. And let's grow this year together. So again, head to theproductboss.com slash best or head to the show notes and just click right there and we'll see you inside. Because if you have a bestseller that is not your best margin, and you're not making money on it, it's not actually performing for you the way that you need to, right? That's not going to get you closer to 100K. So if you plug those holes in your systems, you get priced correctly. Okay, I can sell these. I sell these all day, every day. Maybe you can raise your prices and lower your cost of goods, right? And that right there is the margin. That's the profit. And that goes towards getting you to 100K, right? So it's understanding what good financials look like. It's also understanding what I was kind of touching on was product refinement. Okay, these sell, but are they profitable, right? Is it, Mm -hmm. is it the thing like, are you making money? Does it have, is it easy to sell? Is it have easy customer service or does it break every time you send it? And it's actually costing you more money, even though you're selling them all day, every day. So that is simple step number two. Yeah. So the third simple step to getting towards hundred K is that we want you to up level your messaging. This means you refine your visuals, right? You get better product photos and it helps your products stand out online because the way that the world is gone and the way that the world is continuing to go is people are buying more and more online, right? And we also want you to clarify your messaging. So Mina, do you want to dig into that? Yeah, I think up leveling when I think of that, it's not just about your visuals, which is a huge part of it because people you need your products to be able to sell on their own because people are buying with their eyes and especially online, they need to be able to see it in action kind of, right? They need they need to understand what you're selling. But also with messaging, as you get further and further into business as you repeat these five steps that we're sharing with you, your messaging gets more clear. You become known for something much easier. Like Jacqueline said, are your stories really clear? Are your selling points really clear? Are your benefits really clear? Is your customer journey really clear? Like go here, do this. You're coming here for this. Make sure you tell your friends and family about this. And it's just, everything gets more clear as you keep moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the next simple step, Mina, is? Number four, and that is, Featuring your bestsellers on social media and in email marketing. We kind of threw those in there as like the main ones, right? Social media and email marketing. If you've listened to us enough, we just threw social media in there because for all of you, because you feel like you really, really need it. But that does not mean that all of you need it all the time. But email marketing is really important. You all need to feature your bestsellers, especially through email and then on social media, because you need, you need an online presence. You need a social presence and people should be able to tell what you're selling. So let me ask you all a question. If I were to go follow you on Instagram right now and scroll your feed, would I know in the first nine images or reels or whatever you have there, what your bestseller is? Is it featured enough? right? Are you talking about it? Are you letting people know this is your bestseller? Is this the thing that you're that people are like, Ooh, if this is a bestseller, then it's like got street cred. Right? So the thing is, is I think so often we think, Oh, but you know, it's social. Should I post a picture of my dog? I'm going to send an email, but I don't even know what to do in that email. Like I don't want to be too salesy. So maybe I'll tell them how to like miss their plants. But the thing is, is that if you're not drawing attention and selling your bestseller to your customers, you're doing your customers a disservice. Yeah, you're, you're wasting business. their time a lot of times that they you make it harder for them to buy from you. Yeah, you're in business to fulfill a need, a want, or a desire. Okay, you're in business to pro- 
solve a problem for your customers. So if you're not telling them about the one product that is the best product, that is the answer to their, their needs, wants, and desires, then you're doing them a disservice. Okay. So make sure it doesn't have to be every time, but make sure that you are featuring your bestsellers. If you're kind of stuck here, stick with us, register for Bestseller Secrets Challenge. Listen to last week's episode. You remember the one that we did about selling because we went over my, okay, here's the mantra. My customers want and need my products. My customers want and need my products. There is a customer out there for everybody. It's you're selling to your customer, right? And so I think that's the thing. Your best sellers will attract the right customers. And that's what we're really trying to get you to is like, it's like a high quality customer because you know that that's your customer. So that is number four. And I actually just want to say, because I don't want to lead you in too many places. We teach you about call to actions. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want you all to do to make this super simple. Okay. I want you to head to theproductboss.com slash best, or click the link in the show notes. And that is where you're going to register for all of our free workshops, come to them live or watch the recordings, and you will be automatically registered for the bestseller secrets challenge, which you can also join us live or watch the recordings. And all of the things we're talking about here over the next few weeks, you will be served for free on a beautiful platter mm-hmm. to help you up level your business for okay? free at the cost of a zero dollars but actually it's making you money so really i mean i don't know you're making money on that link yeah you're click. making money on it. <laughs> <laughs> so i so go to the productboss.com slash best register for the workshops register for the challenge you will be opted in we will we will share so much with you you're going to get so much support so just stick to that because we're going to help you figure out how to feature your best sellers in all the places yeah and I'm going to do a quick rundown before you go to the last one. Okay. So we have one, which was look at your product lineup to see what is working the best. Two, which is plugging the holes in your systems, getting priced correctly, which is product refinement and understanding what good financials look like in your type of business. Three is up-leveling and clarifying your messaging, refining your visuals and your products to stand out online. Four is featuring bestsellers on social media and in your email marketing in an obvious way. I'm just adding that in there. So Jacqueline, what's number five? Okay. So you'll hear us talk about this forever and ever until the end of time, because we fully believe that this is the path to profit for all of you. This is your path to hundred K. This is what we've seen time and time again, that your fifth simple step is that you get onto other people's platforms to increase your sales. What does that mean? That means when you're on other people's platforms, there's sales channels, right? You're selling wholesale. You are doing in-person events and going to these events that are B2B or, or B2C or direct to customer, right? You are you are on Amazon. Part, you're partnering with um, influencers on different social media platforms, but yeah. also because it's other people's eyes. That's their platform that they've built essentially. Collaborations, partnerships, Mm -hmm. right? You're in front of other people's audience's eyes. Your product gets in front of them. That is what is going to increase the scope and the range of your products going in other places. Think about that, that weight lifted from your shoulders of you having to get all the customers, trying to get them all on your email list, trying to get them all to follow you. You can do the best you can here, right? But unless you have millions of dollars to spend on ads to try and draw these people in and then convert them to sales, you're going to need to rely on partnerships, which are other people's platforms and sales channels. So my friends, you may have started on Etsy and Etsy is another person's platform that they've brought the traffic. Mm -hmm. You may have started in person. You may have your own website that you sell directly to customers that you have to bring traffic to, but we can make this easier by then adding on other sales channels that will start to increase your revenue because you're making sales in different places to different audiences, different customers. Yeah. Simply put, right? Because if we were to put this in fancy business talk, it would be reoccurring lead acquisition. Ooh, right? that is fancy business That's talk. fancy. MBA <laughs> over here. I actually, I don't know if I even learned that. But reoccurring lead acquisition, you need to find new eyes in your business and you, it needs to be in a reoccurring and almost constant basis, right? So when we're saying get onto other people's platforms, get onto the other people's audiences, they're acquiring the leads for their platform and you're getting to be a part of it. And it lifts the weight, like what Jacqueline said because you're chipping away at the amount of new eyes that are coming into your business because you don't have to get new eyes from the very beginning by yourself. 
Mm -hmm. And you don't need a huge ad budget to try and drive traffic to you, right? Because a lot of businesses, and there are other coaches out there that will run, they'll, they'll teach you all the things, but it's based on ads. Mina and I come from a place of organic, right? Like organic marketing. And this is our path for you. This is our path to profit. This is our path to 100K business and beyond because we believe that it's other people's platforms. It's multiple streams of revenue, multiple mm-hmm. streams of income, right? Multi-stream machine. You are <laughs> yeah. a multi-stream machine. You really are. Business. Because we firmly believe that you need more than one platform to be a profitable product-based business. And even thinking about Amazon, right? Because people think of like, oh, I have to give 15% or Etsy, I need to give 5%. Or if I have partners, I have to give this percent. But the thing is, how much do you think that they, they spend on lead acquisition? How much do they, do you think that they spent on acquiring that person to come to amazon.com or whatever it is, right? Yeah. A whole lot of money, I will tell you that. So if you have to give up a percentage of your sales, then that's what you have to do in order to chip away at the amount of people that need to know about your business to sell the most that you can, but selling the profitable products, because remember, refer back to... <laughs> Refer back to step number one of uh, being making sure you find the profit, right? The your best sellers that are profitable, that the step two is product refinement. So make sure that you are selling your profitable things and making a profit and you're selling more of that and acquiring new eyes from different places because you need all of that in order to be a really successful business. Well, actually, I mean, you just need that to be profitable. So whether or not you're making 50,000 or as we say, this is the five steps to 100,000 that you can do it in this simple way through these steps. Mm-hmm. And then what will happen at the end, right? You follow these steps. You start to see that these steps work for you. You go through our free challenges. You join the courses. You get the support that you need. You're not doing this on your own, okay? You do not have to do this on your own. What will happen? Well, you'll start to see that it starts to work. You'll see that people are buying your bestsellers and they're buying more of them. You'll start to create new bestsellers and you'll have confidence, right? You will refine your product. You'll have created systems that support your business, right? You'll feel legitimate. You will no longer feel like you have to throw spaghetti at the wall and do all the things. You will have been able to pay for help pay off courses that you invest in, right? You're going to see money in your bank account. You're finally going to feel like you're excited, that you're excited for what's ahead. And you're going to feel like you have the confidence and the the knowledge of how to keep doing it and to do it again and to keep scaling and growing and growing your snowball. Yeah. I love it. Sign me up. That sounds amazing. I mean, welcome to the product boss. I'm your co-host, Jacqueline Snyder. <laughs> I don't know who I am these days. No, <laughs> anyways, so we just we just want you to know that there is a simple path to follow this, to stick with us. We're here to support you through this entire journey, no matter where you are, whether you're just starting out, this is a side hustle that you'd like to be full-time at some point, or you want to keep it a side hustle to make extra money to live the life you imagine. If you want to be a full-time product boss, if you already are a full-time Replace product boss- your income. Yeah. You want to make more money than you'd ever get paid working for somebody else. Stay with us. We've helped all people that have done all these different things. We're so excited to see what you do this year because this is going to be your best year yet. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thank you for being here and listening all the way through the Product Boss Podcast. If you love our show and it has helped you in any way in your business, would you mind doing two things for us? subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode and leave us a review. Reviews help other product entrepreneurs know that this is the place to be to grow their businesses and realize that they're not alone. And we know that you all know that a five-star and honest review helps you sell more products to more people. So you know that your reviews help us reach more listeners around the world. Remember what we give is what we receive and we are all about helping each other in the product boss community. We are all in this together. We would be so appreciative of you if you could take the time right now to subscribe, leave a review, and even share this episode on social or someone you know so we can impact more lives. And remember, subscribing means that you will get notified each time we release a new episode so you never miss a thing. You have helped us grow and climb into the top 10 of all marketing podcasts and together we can keep climbing. Thank you, friends. And remember, there is room at the top for all of us. 
This episode is brought to you by the Shop One in Five Pledge and Small Business Shopping Directory. It's a commitment to make one in five of your purchases from a small business online or offline. So head to shoponeinfive.com to take the pledge. And friend, while you are there, check out and shop from hundreds of small businesses in the Small Business Shopping Directory. It's the go-to directory to discover, support, and shop small businesses all in one place. Head to shop1in5.com.